demonstrate some of the exercise we do in our stretch and strength class. I will be making some corrections so when you are home, you can remember what you had to do. Let's start with our crab walk. We're going to go sideways in a plie, keep the knees over your toes and start with the left leg going wider and go and keep going. One and two. Don't have the legs to close together. Keep going, keep going. You need to feel the muscles working in your back to here and come back and come back. And you go and you go and then and you stay. If you have a corridor in your house, you can use the corridor to do at least 15 steps on one direction and 15 steps on the other direction. Moving on with our hip exercise, we're going to do now the monster walk. You go heel, toe, heel, toe, keep your plie, engage your core, and then you start right there, and then you go back toe, heel, Keeping the knee over your toes, you don't want to see go, do not turn out, keep the parallel line. And again, 15 walks going forward and 15 walks going back. Thank you, Deja. Okay, now we're going to move on to our bridges. You're still going to have the tension on the back. The band will be positioned above the knee. Don't let the knee go together. You maintain the space between the legs and then you go up on your bridge and you go down and then you go up, just feeling the tension and then you go down. You're going to do that for 10 counts. You breathe five counts and then you're going to go up and then you extend one leg and hold. You bring the leg down and then you go down and then you go up. You extend the other one, maintain the back and then you bend and then you go down. Another 10 times, meaning you're going to do five and five on each leg. All right, students, now we are going to go to the inner muscles, to your core muscles, and coordination of arms together with it. First, you're just going to go up on the bridge. You're going to squeeze a little the ball. If you do not have a ball at home, get a pillow. And then you go up on your bridge, keep squeezing as you go down, and release a little. You squeeze one, go up two, go down three, and release. Now you're going to use the arms up because the core will be involved. You're not going up on the bridge, but squeeze and lift, keep squeezing as arm goes down, your back goes down and relax. And you squeeze and go up and go down and relax. And you squeeze and go up and go down, relax. Always breathing. Don't hold your breath all the time. Moving forward into a more advanced clamshell coordination exercises, we are going to go up parallel in attitude. You extend, maintain parallel. You bend again attitude. You open on your clamshell without leaning backwards. Go parallel and bringing it down. You go up. Extend, bring it in, turn it up, bring it in, going down instead. 15 sets of that. All right, students, move into your turnout exercise. Just remember when you lean on your side, do not fall forward. You really need to stay side side in a straight line here. You are going to turn out this leg, hold, bring it parallel, hold, lift it parallel, and bring it down again, and the turning up, hold, and the bringing it down, and the lifting up, and the bringing it down. Again, 15 repetitions. All right, students, continuing with our turnout exercise, external rotation ones, you're going to lean on your belly, lay on your belly, keep the ball or pillow in there, and you're going to press down, rotating that leg, and release, and press down. Don't lose the turnout on your standing leg, and release, and press down, and release, and press down, and release. After repeating 15 times, you're going to remove the ball and see if you can bring it down without losing 
stays the standing side. It is fine if your knees touch and the foot doesn't, but you want to engage this rotation without losing the standing side. So after the set that we've done before, comes the continuation of that when you go up to pass it with the single leg, adjust your placement in there, extend this leg to the side, maintaining it there, bringing it back to passing, thinking about your turnout, and bring the leg down, and bring the leg down. And again, you do 15 of that. All right, after doing one leg at a time, it's now time to work both legs together. You don't need to engage the foot, the foot can just be relaxed. You just need to put the pressure through the whole lower part of your leg, and the both legs needs to go together and press the same way and release and press the same way and release and now you'll take the ball and you will repeat without the ball so you press without the ball feel a little bit there and relax and you go press as if the ball was there you do 15 on those 15 on these and then you move forward to the next all right, students, continuing on that track, you're going to go up, bringing both knees in passe, hold that for a while, they need to go to the same alignment in there. You extend to the side, keep your heels, if you can touch the heels and the toes on the floor, maintain that position. Instead of bringing it back to passe, you're going to go straight down, straight down, and from there you go passe again, or HD on how you name it, open to the side, feel the turnout on the whole entire leg, and then you press down, down, and down. All right, students, now, if you don't have a ball, you're going to have two pillows, a little bit, it has to be a little bit higher, can be, it has to be a little bit firmer as well. This one is for your back. Do you remember when it's today you're doing it? I'm using the wall to give you some support, but you don't need to if you can do without. You're going to lift your back up with the hands and lift and lengthen your neck. Bring your arms above your head, and then you go all the way forward, and then you open your arm to the side. And then you go up, and then you go lifting, and then you go forward, and then you relax again. You're going to do that 10 times. All right, students, let's understand where exactly, lift your back, Deja, put your hands on the floor. Let's understand exactly the position where the ball needs to sit. If you go too far down towards your hip, you're going to fall to the other side, and you miss the purpose of working your upper back muscle. So the ball needs to be closer to your rib cage right there to give you enough support as everything goes from there by lifting your sternum. That's it. That's what we want to do. Okay, so when you do this exercise, think about that. Thank you, Deja. <laughs> <laughs> All right, students, so you, as you see, it's not much you can do by yourself, okay? Thank you very much. Thank you, Deja. <laughs>